Hey guys, I know it's been a long time. I know it's uh, I haven't there are so uh, many guests been. Already arriving. This is it's been a long while well since the, the last episode of this. So beautiful. Do apologize. You know, we're as lucky as she is. I think I finally got my Marjorie recording software sort of um, sorted. We'll be it's not trying to, not trying to look up too much because the uh, will shine off my glasses. Where we're standing, we'll be able it can to be see quite everything. distracting. And everyone will be able to see us. We've certainly come a long way, haven't we? I've been meaning to say what I told you about my family. She it means a lot to I be can, able to share that with someone. I, uh, someone I can trust. Off, a bit too blurry for me. Eyes are Terrible. If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. And you know I'll always help you too. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. What they're going to be talking about? Go on then, it'll be fine. The wedding's still days away. Thank you, Mira. I knew I could count on you. I do want to go to an institute to if things been no, going a bit pot at the moment. We have to talk. I didn't know when I would see you next. Look, that night, I don't know what might have happened if you hadn't helped me. Well, I could say the same to you, Lady Mira. But I came here to warn you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night. When I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about shh. They already know he's missing. Probably dead. They're questioning people. Searching for his body. Please tell me you took care of it. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah. I told you I would. Body. No one will know what you did. What? What is it? I still have his knife. Oh, oh, no. Just keep it hidden and clean the blood off it. Meantime, just stay out of sight. How? Do you forget who I serve? Just don't get in any more trouble. So, yeah, it's easier no. said than done. No. Stay out of sight. We're in this together. Jesus. Now. Why are you helping me? What do you mean? I'm a friend, Lady Mira. My name's Tom. We help each other. Or it's both our heads. Thank you. I Tom. like Tom. I, I do. Thank I like Tom. I like Tom. There's still a knife out there really covered with a dead man's helpful. blood. And I don't... Yeah, Mira. I don't know why. You know, like, it's just overly helpful. My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy? Not to say it's wrong, but... With all the lords and knights in King's Thank Landing, you. can we just keep it between us? I prefer nobody knows. Of course. That's what friends do. Come on. I don't trust. Marjorie trust expects her, us at the throne room. I don't trust. We don't her. want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well, first of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have where they dance. Hmm. And I've given the musicians a list of Who songs to play the job Gary Bond. Gary's a very bald person. With the reins of Castamere. Yeah, bald as a baby. That's why it's stuck. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favour in Highgarden. Your Grace. My Lady. Which reminds me... Joffrey will require his king's guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we... What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... 
If you're going Your to Grace, speak out of turn, girl, I... you should finish what you start. Sarah's simply in awe of your presence, Your Grace. We're happy to spend the feast wherever it pleases you. Your happiness is not my concern. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne. I don't like her. She's to choose between yourself. In TV show, and in this, she was she's deferential to the crown. Almost as bad as Joffrey. But words are wind. This in any case, it's settled. Evil. The King's Guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. What did she mean by that, you and Tyrion? What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to Tyrion know about it. Help. Tyrion... He did. Then surely he expects something in return. Sarah, what do you know of this? Tyrion approached us, my lady. It was his idea, not Mira's. I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making no, trouble? No, you haven't. How have you tried to help me once and it backfired? Please, Lady Marjorie, trust me. Just trust me. I know what I'm doing. What I'm doing. I've learned from the best. I'm doing at least what I'm doing. So you aren't really doing anything to help me. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. <sighs> Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. God sake of... I'm only trying to help my family. You would do the same for yours. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. Oh, so sorry if you do it for your family, but if I do, it's like, oh no, it's so the end of the world, how dare you do this to me? I'm just saying, overreacting much. I'm just saying. Try to help me, family, and look what it gets me. Press the wrong button there. Assembling in the courtyard. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Royland beat me in the courtyard. Loading screens take forever, they really do.
What's the meaning, What's the meaning of, of this? I demand to know. <laughs> Those are strong words for a cripple who can't carry a sword. All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth-born son of Lord Lud Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you, hey, Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognise you, but the name fits, don't it? Make no mistake. I am still the Lord of Iron, and I run this house. That sounds like the old Roderick beating his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. No, I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your bar in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live. It might have been the best episode. It might have been the best episode. I don't care if you're happy or not. You'll quarter where I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done. And if they're eating wormy bread, then your people better be eating shit off the ground. I'm not here to keep them in line. Your men aren't fucking guests. We'll get what I give them and be thankful for it. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands! I have every right! We're here under the orders of Bruce Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please! You can't do this, this bastard! You can't just do whatever you don't want to go. Many of you have seen the the Game of Thrones TV series. Recently, you, should, you, you all know that Bruce Bolton is the now, one who me does a lot of things against in your hall. the Stark family. Unless you think you and your yeah. army can stop me. The bastard is a real bastard. No, you know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. You can't go in there. Stop. We can and we will. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Unless you want this all to end right Come now. On. Eh? I'm the only lord here. Come on. <laughs> How wrong you are, you bastard. I enjoy breaking you. Griff White. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof, soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But we can only take this occupation for so long. Our people will break. And the way Griff Whitehill came in, we that's must clearly check what he wants. Oh, no, we can't go to war yeah, must within check our carefully. own walls. Whatever we do, we have to be careful. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake, then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. He carved these soldiers himself. Ramsay Snow killed Ethan. What's to stop the White Hills from doing the same to Ryan? Oh, I can't wait for the day I can kill Ramsay Snow. Ramsay fucking Snow. You can't 
forsake his safety. Really, really can't. We have to do something. Those of you who well, haven't watched Game of Thrones, Snow wave. is the bastard name for boys, and Flowers is the bastard name for girls. So basically, if they have a, the illegit illegitimate son or daughter, they'll be named, and they don't have a, a farm, I think it's or something, or they don't have the uh, family name, they'll be called Snow or Flowers. Get Ryan out and bring him home. Once he's safe, you can face the White Hills head on. And what of Griff and his men? But we can only take this occupation for so long. We must act. This is our best Ryan option. needs us. He's alone. It is. Roderick is right. We are nothing if we leave Ryan behind. Then... It's decided. We're bringing Ryan back. We still don't have the men to hold our own home. Let alone Storm High Point. We lost most of our men with Gregor. At the twins. Unfortunately, Roderick was not able to secure the backing of the Glenmort. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asha and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. Our very lives and the future of House Forrester are at stake. I like Asha. I like Asha. Then we hold fast. It's cool. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing, so I have much to prepare. And men to trade. My lord. My lord. There may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point. Gwyn Whitehill. Lord Whitehill's daughter. The very same. After the hells that came from her and Nasha. Despite all that. She's willing to meet with you. I may not be your sentinel, but please consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Arrange a meeting. What she has to say may prove useful. I believe she can be trusted, but best use caution nonetheless. Of course. And I'll make sure no one else knows. For now at least. Good. Handle things right with Gwyn. And she may even help us in High Point when the time comes. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, these the decisions I've made are good. I really hope they're good decisions. But, um, I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And these I can see it all kind of just going just wrong. wrong in the lands. Mira, are you listening to me? Tyrion. Good Tyrion. Tyrion. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira, a word in private, if I may. I'll return her shortly. You're a bitch. I don't know. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be the queen, and if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me all you like. Go with Tyrion. I don't like you, Mira. I promise I won't keep you long. But not like Mira and um, Marjorie. I don't like you, Marjorie. I don't you're think Lady bitch. Marjorie likes me. Although after tonight, I suspect I won't be her. Least I like you, Tyrion. You're a cool dude. What did you want, my lord? Uh, there's much unpleasant business to be done today. But I bring you a bit of good news. I've arranged for the Crown to purchase Forrester Island. A royal decree sits on my desk now. And I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. You'll bring prosperity to your family. My lord, you honor me. I know there will be talk. But my family needs this. We need it now. It's in good hands, Lady Mira. And I haven't forgotten your side of the arrangement. As handmaiden to the new queen, 
you will undoubtedly prove useful. Enjoy the festivities. Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. Today of all days, you know I didn't want you talking to him. You're playing. Yeah, I don't care what you game. think. What you think? Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. <laughs> I'll deal with you after the wedding. Come with me, Sarah. Garrett. Easy now. Sorry. I was just keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. What did he want? Not many people pass through here. Yeah, you know, he just to hand me a map about possible fortress. I might be able to save my family. But you have to leave all that behind. Especially now that you're a ranger. Aye. I know you had told me he could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend if it came to it. And you were in trouble north of the wall. Any of them you'd trust by your side. You know these men. Finn can handle himself. I'd bring him to a fight. I'm glad he can trust your brother. I'll remember him. Herald Holt of White Harbor. Callis Wells from Stony Sept. And finally, we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Brit Warwick of House Whitehill. It can't be. House Whitehill. Oh, fuck. Oh, to the Baltics. Jesus Christ. Garrett. Bastard. Garrett, what's the matter? You know him. Come on! What's he doing? Garrett, who is he? The man murdered, my, murdered family. my family. What? Snow! See these new recruits to the Maester. Don't do something you regret. If it isn't the fucking pig farmer, I'm here because of you. Got sent to the war for that little party I do with your family. Don't think it's over. Sure, gonna this one's all back. <laughs> what are you waiting for, recruit? Personal invitation from the king? No, 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 no. You'll be dead before you take the black. Be careful now. Didn't end so well for you last time. That's enough. Both of you. Yeah. I've been training. Move. So I can kick your ass. I'll be seeing you, farm boy. I took several of your men out when I, when I was uh, when I fight, fighting you the last time, anyway. This isn't fair. We were supposed to be up there. I'll never see another wedding like this. I don't know what you did with Tyrion Lannister that made Cersei want to punish you, but it never should have affected me like this. You just don't get my it. My family is what's important. I've been fighting for my family's lives here, and what Tyrion Lannister did for me, it may have saved them. Whether you have a seat at the wedding just isn't as important. I see. Well, I hope it was worth it, because you don't know how furious Marjorie is at you. When I was getting her dressed for the wedding, she was talking about who she could replace you with. <gasps> I probably shouldn't have even told you, but I suppose you have a right to know. I can handle this. She's only thinking about it, right? There's still time. It's funny how things change, isn't it? It must be hard for you not to be the favorite anymore. Sarah. Look, it wasn't too long ago, I was asking for your help with Marjorie, and you were there for me. Maybe now I'm in a position to help you. I knew she was troubled. You just need she to just ask. 
Well, actually, he's got the upper hand. Actually, he's the one. Oh, I can help you. We're not over something. I don't want to do this all alone. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. I'll beg Marjorie if I have to. I'm not letting her send you home. The way it's going, I don't really have. Um, I have to go back to the right things at home. You don't know me. No, I wasn't. No, 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 that's some other, that was a different mirror. That was a Maya, not me. No, 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 you got the wrong girl. What were you doing there with him? Mira? Don't think I don't no, know. No, no, you're, you're mistaken. You made a mistake. No, no, not at me. Seven hells. You Man, you're a clumsy fool, aren't you? You're a really, really clumsy. Lord Morgren. You'll need to find someone else. I'm not finished with her. Are you sick, man? You think I have time to bother with handmaidens? Release her, or I'll have Queen Cersei find you another job. Ha 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 ha, you up at your place. Screw you, Mr. Guard person. Well, I just ruined a perfectly good shirt to come to your rescue. No need to explain what that was all about. Uh, why would you, you help? Mischief died. You don't know me. me. I don't know you. So why would you help me? For your benefit. Then why? Perhaps I recognize a kindred spirit. It's not every little handmaiden who can steal an ironwood decree with the crown right out from under my nose. Consider me impressed. My partners, I am afraid to say, felt rather differently about it. You flatter me, my lord. You flatter me. I'm only saying you have potential, my lady. Your problem is, you still think like a handmaiden. Do you even understand why Tyrion gave you the Ironwood deal? Because well, he wants something in return, doesn't he? I'm no fool. He wants something from me. Access to Marjorie. Or perhaps he just knew he could get the cheapest iron. Very observant. You are no mere handmaid. Yeah, it makes the most sense. I remember what it was like to be new to this game. You feel like you're drowning, don't you? There's no one you can really trust. Well, you can't trust anyone. anyone. That's what the game is. You don't trust anybody. I could be you form allegiance, alliances, but you don't trust anyone. Is that something you'd be interested in? What exactly are the terms? What are your terms? What do you get out of it? A smart question. So, let me be blunt. Circumstances have put us at odds. But what if we were to work together? Control the price of ironwood together. We could get very, very rich together. Or You're saying together or I go back to you love. want me? Do I tickle your buttons? Do I? Make you feel like you uh, want to swim down the Rhone River with me when you're with your big canoe. And Joffrey's being poisoned by a dead flea cake. Huh. And they believe Tyrion's the one who's done it. Oh well, Cersei, also, Cersei wanted was an excuse to go after him. I'm afraid it just became a very bad time well, to be dead. linked to Tyrion Lannister. Hooray! Tell me that you got that Ironwood decree from him before the wedding. Oh no. He said it was waiting for me on his desk. <sighs> what a shame. Such potential. I'm afraid any chance... Well, he's not, not dead in the water yet. I can get the bloody thing back if you need a chance. Or oh, might be able to. Lady Mira. Can you help me get it out? I have my own affairs to deal with. But if it were to disappear, of course you do. Perhaps we could talk again. Of course it would. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. It'd be terribly disappointing to see it on the end of a pike. Well, 
Yeah, well, that's I guess I went downhill, didn't it? I went downhill very quickly. It's locked. <gasps> I'm not getting in this way. Tom! What in seven hells do you think you're doing up here? What are you thinking? You've got to leave. Now. Tom. I need to get it in there. There's something inside I need to get. If I don't, it's going to be a nightmare. Damn it. Whatever trouble you're in could be trouble for me too. So what do we do? Through the window! I have an idea. The terrace. The what? I could maybe climb across the roof. And drop down onto the outside terrace. It's just... I don't know where I... Is whatever's in there really worth risking my life for? It's not just Please kings who die stupidly around here. If I fall, it's on your head. I'm sorry. Just what do you think you're doing here? You shouldn't be anywhere near this place. You made me jump, you bastard. I'm following my guy's orders, I, trying to gather my thoughts. I was just... I just needed to get away. After everything that's happened, it was terrible. I'm sure you did. I'm not going to ask you again. Oi! Whoever's in there, I command you to open this door at once, in the name of the king! What ki your king is dead. You have no king. So there is no in the name of the king. In the name of the dead king. Me, oh, you know. We don't need to listen to you. You're dead. Your king you is dead. We have no king. I nearly broke my neck for you. Some tiles on the roof came loose. Almost lost Shut up already. Thank, Thank you, Tom. Tom. I could never have done this without you. I'm looking for a piece of paper. A royal decree. Well, go on. That Lannister guard could be back with help any second. I'll keep watch outside the door. Tom! You can do this. He said that it would be on his desk. Nothing in there, huh? Oh, wait, what's this? Strongbox. Oh, it must be in here. It's really somewhere, it must be right. I think the Lannister guard is back. The other one. Damn it. Oh, shoot. I'll find a way to distract them. Run, 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 Kind of hard not to notice the blue, like, quilty skirt thing, and he would have probably seen me in real life. I'm not that well hidden. Not really. You did it! How? I lit a tapestry on fire down the hall. I bought you a minute, maybe two. Oh, thank you. Did you right, find it? Right. It has to be in here. It has to be in here. Oh, this one. Come on! Nope. Uh, this one. It worked! Hey! Oh, thank the gods! Oh, I found it! Finally! Let's go! Run, 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 Sorry about that, that jump, guys. It's uh, my recording equipment kind of cut out a little bit there. I'm very, very sorry. Against my father, I come as a friend. Do you? Yes, I do. I wasn't sure you were even going to show. 
We're taking a risk, meeting like this. Unfortunately, it's the way it has to be. I'm glad you came It's today. good to see you. It's good to see you. And you too, Roderick. I think we can help each other. But first, I... I've heard news of Asher. That he plans to return to Ironrath. Why is he coming back? I loved him once. I longed for Asher to come back. But not like this. If you must know, he's bringing us an army. You may think that's going to help your family. But it will only lead to more killing. I want peace between our families. No more wars. No more bloodshed. Is that what you want to? Yeah, well, I don't really want we that, considering that that's dream. all your family want. And if we can get rid of your family, or get rid of all the people that are causing the problems you don't in your family, understand. then we don't want this is the more only problems. hope your family has. My father is just you may say peace to me. Peace and freedom so are two fun. different things. My father will bring utter ruin on your house. Unless... You let Griff feel like he's in control. Just like you kissed my father's ring. You must show the same respect to Griff. I'll put on a good face and let him think whatever he likes, if that's what I have to do. It is. My lord, a band of riders approach from the north. Seven hills. My father's guards must be tracking me. If they catch us, well, you are in a secretive way. Then we've got no to track you down. Let's get on with it. My father is planning oh, to make a move it. against your family. I don't know all the details, but he's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. I fear for your family, Roderick. You may think you've nothing more to lose. Why are you telling me all this? Is it meant to frighten me? To make me bend the knee and bow my no, head? No, of course not. Although that's what my father wants. And he knows you can't fight him. He knows exactly how weak you are. How? Wait, what do you mean? Because you have a traitor in your council. Someone who knows every detail of your circumstances. My father boasts of it. You must tell me. Uh, I don't know. We know Trace. you're planning to rescue Ryan. Even if it means abandoning your home to Griff. What? My father's guards are close. I need to know you'll do what I've asked. Promise me you'll submit to Griff. If you want peace between our families... You have my word, Gwyn. I'll do my part. Thank you. My lord, those riders are nearly upon us. We have to go. What I told you. Be careful what you do with it. Oh, remember, oh, traitor. I'll hear about Jesus. it if you don't. Well, lord, I think this is a good place to leave it for, for this path. Come along, Duncan. For uh, at the moment, so um, I will see you guys in the next part of Game of Thrones episode three. Thank you for watching, and I will see you then.